Hannah Cobcroft, you lead the European Championships as the 800 metre champion in the T34. It's another gold medal for the collection. How does it feel? Yeah, it's, it's been nice to come back. Um, obviously, missed the 2016 European Championships for focusing on Rio. Um, and I, I haven't felt myself this year. I haven't really felt the top of my game at any point. Come here not feeling the strongest that I ever have. So it's not really a feeling that I'm used to. Um, but it, it's good, you know, it shows that, you know, I've always said this year I was going to take a step back and, and focus on other things. So to have done that and, you know, to come away with the silver and the gold, um, it's nice, but it shows actually that you have to put everything that you've got into this sport to, to be the best. So it's a good wake-up call for me, it's good motivation, but I think it's good proof to everyone else that, um, that we work hard at what we do and, and that every medal that gets hung around our necks is thoroughly worked for so it's been good it's been very different this championships but I've enjoyed it. Does it make it sweeter for you knowing that you weren't perhaps at the top of your game to come away with two medals? Yeah I think it's um I think it would have oh, I'm trying to think like it does make it sweet coming away as, as the 800 meter champion yes um especially as the race was so close I mean the time was ridiculously slow but um my old coach probably gave me the best piece of advice anyone's ever given me and that was that no one remembers times and everyone remembers medals so once you're out there you've just got to play the game and not worry about what the clock says um, and that's really what I've just had to remember these championships you know my 100 metres went so ridiculously wrong um, that I really had to, to make something happen and, and make things right on the 800 metre day so yeah to come away with two, two medals is it's really nice on, on the year that it's been because it has been a struggle um, I haven't recorded any personal bests obviously lost my world records in 100 metres to carry this year so it has been a big shake up but I kind of knew that that was going to happen this year and I'm glad that it is because it gives me the motivation going forward now for the next two years. You said you were gutted with your 100 metres but you've still come out of it with a silver medal and it was another British one too as it was in the eight. What's it like to have two Brits on the podium winning medals? It's brilliant to have two Brits on the podium. I, um, I love it. I love going up there because it meant even with a silver medal I could still sing my national anthem. Um, obviously it's a big change for me to be winning a silver instead of a gold. But, you know, for so long people have said, you know, there's no competition out there for me and, and, and questioned my classification. So hopefully now that can all be put behind us and um, people can actually appreciate the work that goes into to being on that podium, not just for me, but for the whole team. How have you found the European Championships this year? I've really enjoyed the European Championships this year. Um, it's been fantastic actually being here with so many debutants for the team, but also so many experienced, uh, so many experienced athletes. Um, it's been really nice having those younger faces and those newer faces because you kind of walk in on the first day and everyone's like, oh, look who it is. And then they become your, you know, really good friends. So it, it's nice to kind of have that, that, that feeling of excitement around you. Um, I think actually my race of the game so far has been um, Thomas Young because just his excitement coming off the track and then watching him on the podium singing every word of the anthem and... I feel like when you've got the same team going to every championship, some of that passion is lost. So having that many new people really brings it back what this means and how much of an honour it is to wear this, this vest and, and to go out and represent your country. And, and that has been the best thing about it. And for you to see so many young athletes coming through, like Carrie almost following in your footsteps and Thomas Young as well, what does this mean for the sport? What does it mean for Great Britain? I think it's fantastic seeing the young athletes coming through, you know, Carrie coming on to, I'm not going to say replace me, but coming on and following me, you know, she, um, she watched me at 2012 and it, it's strange thinking that without me she might not have ever picked up this sport and, and, and never got involved with it. Um, so it's quite an honour to know that, but to know that this sport is in safe hands when eventually, you know, I'm 26, so I don't plan on leaving just yet. Um, but when the likes of myself or Rich Whitehead or Arla Davies, when any of us decide that, you know, we're, we're getting a bit old for this, um, we know that, you know, British Athletics and Great Britain could still be on the top of the podium. And that's a, that's a nice thought to have, that we're not leaving a sport in the lurch and we can build this legacy and we can make our team as strong as it is right now and in, even stronger. What's next for Hannah Cobb? What's next for Hannah Cockcroft? Um, well, I'm going to go home. I'm going to go on holiday to Disneyland. <laughs> Important parts. 
And then, you know, I'm, I'm definitely heading towards World Championships in Dubai next year. Um, I want to get back on top. I want to get back on top of two gold medals. Um, I want to get my world record back. So I've got all the motivation in the world now to go ahead, to fix all the things that maybe haven't been right this year, uh, and to get a good year behind me and, and train hard and win those goals.